Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over filters. So I was noticing that my desk is feeling a little too yellow ish for my taste. So there is something called filters where you can do different things like color correction. So I'm going to go to my base, right click that and say, um, add filter. And I can click on this and you'll see all the different kind of filters. So you would want to add filters mainly to your color or your um, your material here, not your mass. Um, you can, there, there's options to do that, but um, most of the things have to deal with probably color. So I'm gonna put a HSL perspective and that's hue, saturation, lightness. So I'm gonna bring down, I'm gonna change the hue so it's a little more reddish, so a tiny bit like that. And I'm gonna bring down the lightness and let's see, like this. And then I'm gonna add a levels to my color too. So then I can make it more contrasty by pulling on this a little bit and then I'm getting something closer to what I want. There we go. Um, you can also do global changes. So sometimes there is, um, say there's a varnish on this and um, the varnish gets worn out more on the outside parts because it's, that's where the hands, there's more movement happening like on the edges of things. So let's do that effect. So I'm gonna go, instead of the fill layer, I'm just gonna get add a add layer. And then for this to affect everything, like we're gonna do a global effect on everything, we're going to change this from normal to pass through. And then, um, yeah, so that we only need to do this to the base color. So we're gonna add a black mask and we're gonna add a generator. Um, we're gonna go back here so that we can, um, on the pass through, on this color, we're gonna add a filter and then on the filter, we're going to change this to an HSL perspective. And then we're going to change this something really, um, I'm just going to have a lightness of one. So it's going to be white, just so that we can dial in what we got in our generator. So on our generator, I'm going to click on this. So something like that, what I described would, a good place would probably be ambient occlusion. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to bring up the global blur. You see how it's starting to move. Something like that. See how it's changing like that. So it's not going to be perfect, but you're seeing kind of the effect I want. So it's more in the center and it's going to be like that. And then I can do a global invert even. So say I want that to be the base and then everything else to be lighter, but I think I want these areas to get darker and this is to be the lightest it gets. So I'm gonna go over here and go back to the HSL perspective and I'm just gonna bring that back down. So this is affecting, it's the pass through is taking whatever the base color is and affecting that globally um, and I have a mask on it so I'm gonna bring up and make it darker I'm gonna actually bring this down so imagine this would be more saturated yeah like this and maybe the hue is a little bit and look at your reference too so that's cool and then what I can even do is um, 
yeah I think that's probably fine but now if I don't if I like it mostly but I don't love it that it's not looking great right here that darkness is going over here I kind of want it to keep it right there um, you can always add those paint layers and fix those different effects by just painting them up or adding them in areas where you like it so I can just go over here and just remove that those areas you can even use a blur it's up here and then it's blurring around that a little bit better like this and it's getting those nice subtle transitions Maybe this is too even so I can play around with that also Maybe it's this kind of rounds up uh, over here more of the effect So um, yeah, and so another way that you can use these this method, um, if you're like want a global effect, we can even add sharpness to things. So I can go do that same thing, click on that, and then make sure that we have um, pass through. So this will sharp sharpen. This will affect the color, and then we can even do like height pass through. And then we can do tap, um, normal, and we can do pass through. And then I can go over and say add filter, click on this, and you can search sharpen. And it will add a sharpening effect. And say I like it, but I don't love how it's affecting my color. I can go over to the base color and change the opacity of that down. So I get the effect of my height being sharpened, but not my um, not my color as much. So I get more detail in that, but not my base color. Um, cool. So I'll see you in the next video.